In this gallery are a series of portraits that feature the people who appear in the Haywood Street Beatitudes fresco. So for a year preceding the actual painting of the fresco, the artist Christopher Holt set up a studio at the church and he invited members of the congregation to come and sit for a portrait with him. And he did this beautiful series of charcoal portraits on paper. And the members of the congregation primarily are people who, I would say, live in poverty and really live on the margins of society in Asheville. And Christopher invited them into the church to do this series of portraits. And while he drew their portraits, he had long conversations with them. And so when you visit the exhibition, you'll see quotes um, that appear next to each portrait. And these are either kind of excerpts from the artist's conversation with the portrait sitter or quotes that he later asked them to include as part of the project. And I think um, what really stands out to me when you look at these portraits is that these are people who are often rendered invisible. They're people that we tend to overlook or look the other way if we see them on the street. And the artist really presents them with dignity and compassion. And I think the message that he sends and that you gather from these portraits is about how we all need to treat each other with this sense of humanity and compassion. So I'd like to read um, one of the quotes from one of the sitters, and her name is Jeanette. And basically, she's talking about um, the importance of this fresco and her, the belief of the pastor of the church, Reverend Brian Combs, and kind of her agreement with his philosophy. And what she says is, if we put someone in a painting that will be there for the rest of eternity, like this fresco, we are saying in every way that your story matters. And basically, she goes on to say, as long as this building is standing, as long as the church is standing, there will be someone telling the story of that fresco and the people in it, like myself.